everyone, this is Bernie from Stampin' Eat. I'm just coming to you this morning, this gorgeous Friday in Tauranga, um, New Zealand, and I'm going to be doing two cards from the new catalogue, the Simply Succulent, which will also be including the beautiful new in colours for this new catalogue. So join me, we're going to be making two cards today. The video will be a little bit longer than normal, but that's okay, because you're getting two cards. Um, I also just wanted to say that I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in New Zealand, and I've been using Stamping Up for the last 14 years and absolutely love the product, but I only recently um, joined as a demonstrator at the beginning of the year, so I would really, really welcome and love your subs subscriptions to my YouTube channel. I do this as part of my clinic. Um, I am also the owner of Tauranga Wellness Clinic as I'm a clinical nutritionist. So this, it would mean so much to me if you um, subscribed to my channel and followed and shared. So without further ado, um, all the information, how to find me will be in the bottom. Just look down there on the drop down box and that'll be in there. I'm also on Pinterest. And you can also find the recipe card for all of this on my website, www.tarongawellnessclinic.co.nz, stamp and eat. Um, so, yeah, all of the information that I use today will be there. Have a great day. I'm going to turn the camera around now so that we can start. All right. Bye. Morning everybody, this is Bernie here again. So this morning we are going to be making these two gorgeous cards and I am going to be featuring the Simply Succulent um, Cling Stamp Set as well as the Potted Succulents that pairs with this. So the Simply Succulents um, set is actually in our catalogue and you can find that the brand new annual catalogue launched this week on the 4th and if you turn to the back um, they've got all the stamp sets at the back and Simply Succulents is on page 35 uh, let's just turn there so 35 so um, yeah my camera is a bit I've rearranged my camera a bit so there it is over here um, but the dies are not in it the dies and um, you can get them in the June, January to June catalog. So if you want these dies, which we're going to be using today, you need to um, hurry and get those ordered before the end of June. Today's cards um, feature some in colours. So I am loving the new in colours. I must say, I think this is going to be my favourite. This is Soft Succulent. Misty Moonlight is a carry through and this will discontinue at the end of next year um, and Cinnamon Cider is a continuation but we do have the um, Bumblebee which is so pretty so we'll be using that and these, these gorgeous little bumblebees just have a look I'll just bring it up look at the detail and they are selling so quickly so and we will be featuring these new in color gems which are so so pretty so um this is going to be a long video because we have two cards to make so i will be pausing it in the boring things where i have to put it through my die cutter but let's get cracking so here's my website tarongawellnessclinic.co.nz and i did an add on um, stamp and eat and I have written this in the light evergreen blend so ever, evening evergreen is a very dark green I must confess when I first saw it I thought mm, I don't know if I like that so much but I made the most stunning stunning card which I will feature um, at, in my next classes because for May we're doing succulents and in June we are doing butterflies and in July we are going to do the beauty of earth um, sweet so those are gorgeous colors but have a look at these blender pens so this is the dark um, mm, evening evergreen and this is the light so yeah very exciting all right let's get cracking so for this project because we are making two cards you are going to need to cut double card stocks i have already done that because i am again i am it's a friday and i always have a lot to do on a friday so the new bumblebee 
I will put those all up for you. That needs to be cut at 11 by 4.5 wide, scored at 5.5. And, and we will start with that card today. You also need to have some shimmer paper. Have I got the right one? Let me just make sure. Oh my gosh, I put this all out. I prepared it all last night so that I wouldn't um, have any problems. And now I can't find the right card. Okay, but we also need a p um, piece of bumblebee cut smaller. And that is four and a half by eleven and a half. Because that's basically going to... Um, I'm actually just going to move this camera slightly over more that you can see what I'm doing. That's better. Um, so that's going to fit perfectly on the front of our card. You need some shimmer paper. This is the shimmer. I think it's the shimmer. Yeah, there we go. It's got a bit of a shimmer in it. Identical size. We also need that five and a half length by four and a quarter. And that's going to form the frame. Um, then you need some thick cardstock the same length as that one. I'll put all the dimensions um, up on the video. We're going to use some mossy meadow and some scrap white to do our stamping. And we need some insides of basic white as well. So lots of cutting, lots of different things to do. So let's get started. We're going to um, just bring in the, on our card, where you've got, when you've scored it, you've got a bit that's the rise and then the bit that's in. And the rise always goes inside. So we'll just get that one ready and set that to the side. And on the shimmer, now you can't see it, but it caught the light. We are going to use, or I need to stop saying we. Let me try and do that, right? Every time I watch my videos and I say to my husband, I need to stop speaking in third person. I am going to put that die cut like that through my cut and emboss machine. So I'm going to um, come back once I've done that. Right, so now I have embossed that. I actually turned the um, die cut up on my plates and then put my shimmer paper on top of it and ran it through twice because it's quite, um, there's quite a lot of detail on it. Now I am going to create a mask. So on the single piece of bumblebee and that is measuring the four and a half by five and a half so that's exactly going to fit well that's the plan fit onto the front of the bumblebee cardstock I'm now going to place this mask and this is going to be um, quite tricky to hold down and to um, make sure I'm just giving it a slight bend so that I can just hold down there because this is going to form the picture on the um, for the first card. I'm going to be using a combination of the cinnamon cider, misty moonlight, and soft succulent. So I'm going to use my blender pens for the uh, blender pens. I'm going to use my uh, blending brushes for that. I will start um, just to show you what I do, and then. Um, come back to you once I'm finished because that will take a while. The idea behind that is to let's get them out of my holder. We always come, let me just move that. Always come off the side. So when, because I'm doing this as a random mosaic -y sort of retro -y look um, it's going to be all over the place that we're coming with the ink and you see just hold carefully I don't know if you saw that on the camera that lifted so it really is a question of holding um, down the mask but at the same time you want to make sure that you get it covered so um, I'll come back once I'm finished this and we'll carry on Okay, so I have gone over with my three different colors and I must admit I really struggled this time around to hold the mask down. Um, 
but you can't tell that can you from what we've got there and I just for the sake of time I didn't go over too darky so you, I'm too darky too dark so you can see the difference that one's quite dark that one's quite light but I'm okay with that so I'll just move these inks to the side get them out my way I feel like I'm missing up oh, there's a brush there okay so now that is the mask we're going to use on the white cardstock but we're going to I'm going to adhere this to the front of that bumblebee before I do I am going to put my ribbon on so I used Misty Moonlight so I will be doing the same and I'm going to put it on the back so it is Friday the 7th here in you know, um, Tauranga gorgeous beautiful we've had beautiful autumn weather this week do you know I had such a lovely surprise this last Saturday so tomorrow a week ago my husband organized a surprise photo shoot for myself our twin sons who are now adults and both are married one of which has two gorgeous children and they all live locally here in Tauranga and he organized a surprise so I'm just turning that around we're gonna go three times a surprise photo session um, with a very very talented Salome um, that is she's in our church and she also has her own Facebook page Salome photography and they did a surprise photo shoot for Mother's Day for me so I had photos of um, myself with my two grown-up sons and with um, my two grandchildren it was so special so special now I'm just trying to remember how I did this bow because I'm looking at it and going oh that was very pretty how did I do that so what I did was I wrapped it around my fingers three times and then Cut that off, hold it there, bring it into the center, can you see there, bring it into the center and I just wrap that around the center, it gets quite tricky. So yes, so I had some gorgeous, gorgeous photos done, um, they are so beautiful, um, so I had those printed, obviously going to get those today and um, get some pretty frames, plus I had some extra printed, there we go, there's our bow, I had some extra printed because of the autumn's themes. Now, one of the benefits of being a demonstrator is that you get to have um, pre-orders before it goes out to the public and I absolutely fell in love with the Beauty of the Earth man I'm struggling with this today Beauty of the Earth um, set I just want to bring that so what I'm going to do here is just tie this slightly just to anchor the three I want to create a bit of definition um, the Beauty of the Earth suite in the annual catalogue, I have so fallen in love with those papers. Um, they are stunningly, stunningly beautiful. So I have actually um, glue dot on that, adhere that down. There we go. Pretty, pretty. And I'm going to now glue that onto there. And I'm going to punch out the sentiment and put the little bumblebee on, all right? And inside I've got normal white cardstock, which I've stamped with the succulent. So that's going to be that card. Um, so that's pretty straightforward because um, all the sentiments come from there. So I don't, I don't want to spend too much time showing you the simple card. Let's look at the next one. So the next one is just using ordinary... Double, um, thick cardstock, same idea. Score at the um, five and a half. Now, 
that mask that we had, that now is going to go over the top. That's your second card. So I'm just going to glue that. Now I have not previously used adhesive sheets. Um, as I said, I am a relatively new demonstrator. So I'm still, even though I've used stamping up products for many years, um, it's been more of a hobby than um, doing this, but more seriously like with my stamping up retreats. But I am waiting for my new order to come and I have ordered adhesive sheets and I think that will work perfectly on large dies like this. But look how pretty. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. Even the softer um, colours. And you know what? You cannot make a mistake with this because it honestly doesn't matter how you've blended it. Look how different that is to this one. This one is a lot darker. That one's a lot softer. So we are going to... Um, there, I'm doing it again. Using plural. I am going to make this little pot in succulents. And you're going to just be amazed at how easy that is. Take some scrap... Um, soft succulent, uh, soft succulent, soft suede, and using your die, we're going. I'm going to cut out the pot, and then I'm going to spray it with my spritzer. So these are handy little things to have. The stamping spritzers, you can just have water in there. I've been doing, having a play and putting um, some ink refillers in there, creating a bit of a background look. I've actually got some amazing cards that I've designed um, and I'll showcase those later in the year. But for now, um, die cut, we're gonna, I'm going to die cut this out, spray it and then going to um, ink it. So I'll be back soon. Okay, so I have cut out my little um, pot with soft suede and now using soft suede and a blending brush I don't have many blending brushes I just in, I use what I have and I just clean them I'm just going to create some definition here sort of like how your pot shadow would be if the light hit on it so um, I'm going to stay with that. Oops, can't get that lifted up. So, if you can see there, I've sort of come in at the end. I might just actually do a little bit more on the end. Right, so I'm happy with that. Now, I am going to spray it using my spritzer. And I'm going to absolutely soak it. Now, why am I doing that? because I want to create cracks in there with my um, pen and I am going to use my, I've taken it out, my early espresso um, marker pen and I'm going to just create some crack marks, maybe one off there one coming in there oh, that wasn't wet enough so now it's created a mark so that I'm going to leave that to dry in the meantime I have die cut some of the leaves the green leaves and just on the top of the aloe of just on the top on the tips of there I'm actually going to use that same blender pen not the blender pen sorry the uh, marker pen and just going to come and just slightly give them like a burnt look So what are you folk doing for Mother's Day? Are you spoiling? What do, what do you often do? Um, now that our kids have grown up and left home, um, 
I don't actually, I don't place expectations on my kids to do anything. I have found over the years, my experience has been that when you have expectations of somebody, um, that is when the greatest heartache comes in because you think people should be doing something and then they don't and then you get really disappointed. And now I can't find what I've done with my card. What have I done with my card? Let me go and find where I put my card. Okay, so what I did was I actually landed up just um, speeding up the process by drying this little pot with my, um, what is that thing called? My embossing tool when it makes it hot. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely useless at remembering things like this. So, pot, right. So I am going to pop this up on some dimensionals, but, yep, yeah, let's do that first. Pop that up on dimensionals, so I'm going to cut that. It is always so tricky when you do these things, when you're recording things. I um, must say I've never been a big fan of doing things like this so this is really pushing me out my comfort zone when I do stuff like this I just want to let you know so it would really mean a lot to me if you actually just let me know how you found it I'm going to go over those marks ever so slightly as I noticed they are there the cracks are there they have come through they may well darken just because I've sped things up a bit and I'm just going to go over with my blender pen with the thin side, just slightly. Just give it some... This is such a cool technique. You need to age something. There we go. And now we are going to put and popping this in. Oh, fingers and thumbs this morning. I've rearranged my craft room. I um, The gorgeous Sharon from Extreme Laser here in Wakatani in the Bay of Plenty. She is a clever lady and she they make um, storage for crafters and so I've done a bit of um, a bit of tidying up in my in my craft room and I've rearranged a lot of stuff so I'm just gonna pop I'm popping these on mini dimensionals because I want the height and I'm tucking it under there there is no right or wrong way of doing this um, that's just one of the things I also just teach at my class you know we we don't have to be doing these things perfectly so that one's there and as you can see it's looking slightly different to that and isn't that how it goes in life so I'm just going to stamp the sentiment on that this one is going to be matted we're going to do mossy meadow and white which I'll do it's just yep not, not my brain is not with it today. I'm thinking so many different things I've got to do. Um, I'm going to use the so succulent dye. I'll just go. Here we go. So I just wanted to quickly also let any locals know on the 17th of May I am running a um, half a busy woman's half day retreat and I'm doing that with the gorgeous Jackie from Thrive Business Consulting. We are working together to um, 
do a morning retreat for ladies because we both know that it is, you see how that's come over slightly, so I'm just going to trim that ever so slightly. Would have been helpful if I'd actually noticed that before I'd um, put my succulents on, but it doesn't really matter. There, that's better. Um, so the ladies retreat, it's all about helping you work well with your time and helping you work well with um, your food um, and budgeting and working just working well with what's in season so I'm going to finish this card and come back to you yes, so I have decided to do something different to finish this one off so I've done the you've been on my mind I've done a little bit of a blue um, twine in the background just to finish that off um, and looks a bit messy so we've got that one inside and we've got this gorgeous one with a beautiful bumblebee and stamped inside so there we have two cards from one stamp set and you can do so much more so thank you so so much for joining me today even though I was having a bit of a ditzy Friday I wish all of the mothers out there a beautiful beautiful Mother's Day um, I hope your family spoil you and make you feel just as beautiful as what you all are um, please subscribe to my channel. I know I um, don't come in here very often, but it would mean the world to me to actually have people start following me. Um, so that would be really amazing if you were able to do that. That would be cool. I only come on every fortnight. Um, as I mentioned, this is part of my clinic work. It's not something I do full time, um, but nonetheless, your support would be much appreciated. So have a fabulous weekend, have a fabulous Mother's Day if you're a mother, and I will be in touch. Um, I will be back again in a fortnight. Next time we are looking at our um, beautiful cards that I created with the new in colours um, on the Butterfly Brilliance. If you are in Tauranga, um, in New Zealand for that matter, and you've loved what I've done today, you are welcome to go and shop with me on stampingup.nz. Um, I'll put all of that information in my um, blog and find me Bernie Ruert as your demonstration demonstrator. That would be awesome. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye. <music>